This is our last week of season one. So everything we do, we just put more than 100% effort because it's our last week. Everything we have done, everything just like for this moment. The match versus Seoul is actually very important for us. We want to make sure we have a really solid performance, ideally a 4-0 for the sake of map differential going into playoffs. We need to win both of these matches to secure our slot. 100% if we win both, we get to the playoff. If we win one team, 50-50. I mean, let's say we kind of have to win both. You don't, you don't want to just like, please don't win this match. Like, please, this team don't win this match. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna just like do what we can do. Uh, after the Mayhem match, uh, I think we were pretty confident about the Soul match, but we didn't really know what to expect like in terms of results since we haven't screened them in like a very long time. I think we were pretty confident, we were pretty prepared. As long as we keep the mental, emotional blocks out of the way, we can definitely take this series. To make some noise, it's the final match here on Wednesday. We're in the final week of the regular season and this final match is gonna have a serious impact on both the season playoffs as well as the stage four playoffs. Please show some love for the team from Texas. It's your Dallas Fuel. Don't be at me. Yeah. Okay, yeah, they're gonna try and stop. Yeah, he's a confidence-based like player, but when he is on, oh no, oh no, oh, oh, all the heads, he's clicking them all. He's gonna try to roll through this one. Earth Shatter knocks out OG, and Dallas Field just gets rocked. He told me to get back in a hurry here. Dragon Blade out. Seagull looking for the back lines. Gets Flanagan. Gets Jay Hong. And that's exactly what Soul needed to cap off this point A. And despite the blaster fire and. Oh, Kuki even gets Seagull with a charge. That's it. Soul Dynasty, they won these playoffs. Led over here, you can see his outline. He's got, oh, Taimu. Taimu here with a quick scope, gets the shot onto Fleta and finds Jay Hong's head. Oh, but he finds Fleta. He's like, hey, they will be unable to claim point A. Soul Dynasty will go up 2-0 in the series. Wow. This is definitely wow, not the result. Then? Meanwhile, Fleta fighting it out on the ground. Mickey's gonna jump out of the mech. Doesn't get shot before he lands here, but there's a barrage. Seagull waiting for him. Gets Toby as well with that barrage. Oh, he down Unko. Gets another one. He's been a hero in this map, in this point. And Dallas Fuel, it looks like they've got it. Fleta, the last one standing. He gets taken out. Ah! And then Dallas Fuel oh, will Go! take Oasis. They are still alive in this series. Oh, he's out, he's out, he's out. Seagull right now trying to loop all the way around the side. Those long range rockets find their intended barrage. targets. Jayong going to get resurrected, but they are surrounded right now. Seagull takes to the ground and starts firing rockets into the flank. Jayong is there. Who will pick for attack on A or B? Yep. Oh, oh no. His blade is ready too. And he's going to pull it out right now. Kuki with the kill on Anko going in for the final blows here to finish this one off. Gets Mickey. OG still with some health remaining, but that's a finish for Weki. Soul Dynasty Dynasty. in a hurry, but the kills keep coming in anyway. It's gonna be Soul Dynasty taking the map, taking the series. They are still alive in the hunt for the playoffs. That's right, Doa, and they win this rivalry yet again. We went in expecting to win. I'm expecting to have the match go a certain way. While we had a solid game plan and we did okay, Soul definitely showed up. And they showed it big. And you could tell they put a lot of prep into us because even just the styles of positioning and backline, everything, all their whole, whole style is completely different versus us than, than what they had done the rest of the season. We prepared for them, but apparently they prepared even better for us. They had a different play style for Fleta that was never ever seen in a single match in their whole stage, stages one to four before our match, so. With an adjustment during the game, I think we could have easily won that. Sadly, we underperformed. We didn't play like we used to play. So we are pretty disappointed about the way we played. I'm not going to lie, we feel pretty bad. Like, uh, in my opinion, uh, we still won that game. It was like a, a really important match for us for the stage playoffs. So we are really sad we lost that one. Today was disappointing, but it's okay. The only expectations that matter are the ones that we place on ourselves. Okay? So shake tonight off. We still have one more game to play. So even though we feel like we should have won tonight, 
you know, sometimes they just show up the better team. That's okay, because we take that, we learn from it, and we move on. Coming out of the Soul match, it made our road to, to stage playoffs a little bit harder um, because we now had to beat the Valiant with a 3-1, 3-0, or 4-0. Plus, we needed Houston and Philadelphia's matches to all go a certain way. We felt like we were the better team in going to the match. Uh, confidence was high. We played a lot. We were really prepared. We were like, it was like our last match. We were like, okay, we need to win this one. That's our last chance for stage playoffs. Uh, we wanted to win this one. We wanted to end on a good note. So we gave everything we had. We know that our chances to win is really low, right? Because we have to have a high score. So we went with everything we can. Let's do our best. We don't have anything to lose at this point. Bring out your first team in our final game of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Sage, the Dallas Fuel. Top right. Are we gonna make it? No, we go. She's up. She's up. Yeah. Gonna be Johnny on the spot. But then Siegel's like, okay, how about if I body block him? Does that work? No, it's gonna cost you your max Siegel. He gets the kill anyway. And he gets nothing. Crack the shields. Oh, Siegel! High right, agility, so you're not gonna get anything here. Let me show you how it's done real quick. Too much damage, you can't another handle it. Shatter. Another shatter from OG. Another shutdown for the defense, but that is gonna be it. Dallas Fuel oh, hold. Might be enough to bring it back. You start getting one, that's a lot of healing out. Maybe you can get a second. Time will get tased to clean up. Headshots all over the place. All sounds of balance should be in control. Oh, he's been cut off. He is dead. Oh. Siegel as well. Unko not going to be able to make it back in time. And Dallas Fuel will fail to tie it up. Los Angeles Valiant tie up the series one to one. No, no far, no far. Ability's trying to find an angle though. Does manage to dodge just a little bit. AKM will find the kill. Hunts him down in the end. He's off the edge there. AKM coming to life, hitting shots. Tragic, really. That would have been the most stylistic dead eye ever. The shatter comes down, gets Kareem in the back line. High noon is canceled. It's gonna be good enough. Harry Hook lays him out, and it's looking very much like Dallas Fuel with the game control situation. Win on the jump. Okay, come on, we The face is right, dude. Mickey just got right in there on the high ground. The snipe on Custa. Oh, what a sick play here for Vicky. Corner here for Valiant, trying to hang in there, trying to put up the fight, trying to stagger for as long as possible. Fate goes final, but he's getting focused down so ruthlessly here with the Discord orb. He just soaks damage, the stun, and that's it. They will succeed. Dallas Fuel with the win, 3-1 over Los Angeles Valley. They get to play spoiler to the Valiant's perfect stage, and they technically keep their stage hopes alive. The fuel have grown so much in this stage for the future, burning bright, burning blue for Dallas. It feels amazing. It feels amazing just because like, no one won Valiant, no one, except us, which is crazy, right? Because like, we are like the bottom team, winning the top team, right? So it's kind of like crazy uh, for the fans, for everyone, even for us, because no one expect that. Taking down a big team, being in the underdog, if it always feels amazing. So yeah, I'm actually proud of that. I'm proud of what actually we did. So winning 3-1 against a team that was undefeated, maybe we were 9-0. It was like the score we needed like to at least get, give us a chance to make it to the stage playoffs. So we were like super happy, super proud of ourselves. We had a fun match, but just knowing that you basically gave yourself a big chance to get into playoffs by winning that game there was really high stakes in it. So I think we we're just feeling good. It felt really good to, to play that well against Valiant because a lot of the things that we've been trying to change since the beginning of the stage were showing. These things were coming to fruition. It wasn't just the in-game stuff, it was teamwork and the players, the mental state, the emotional state, all those things coming together to show that work has been paying off. And it was very special for me, for the coaching staff to see it. We were at a point in the stage where we had a couple crushing losses where we kind of beat ourselves. We didn't know if we'd make stage playoffs, but we knew that it was possible. And beating Valiant solidified that this stage has been a record-breaking stage for Fuel. And uh, that that win, you know, was kind of the, the nice little bow to tie it all together. So it feels uh, really good also uh, being my Gordo Casta. Uh, it also feels amazing. We had a boy Casta in there. Uh, we need to, had to show him like 
do the real Dallas feel, uh, like those traders go there <laughs> to Valiant. <laughs> no, but I love custom.